What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 93 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 1000 ELO. I'd like to stop and take a moment to thank you all for subscribing, liking all my content. I have 400 subscribers at this moment, and that is amazing to me. So, thank you guys, and I guess without further ado, let's get into today's game. So, we'll get some tunes on for you guys. Deep breath, and here we go into the 10 minute pool. Good luck, Black Lightning. We'll play D4. We will play a London system. I'm sure my opponent is probably a little familiar with this opening. He looks like he might want to play a King's Indian. So with that in mind, I think I will develop normally. Um, this is a weird opening for me. Oh, he's gonna fianchetto both bishops. Interesting. Um, I don't see why we can't just maybe undermine the center. I don't have to worry about this pin ever coming down here. Um, So I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, I want to get my bishop developed. Um, I think I'm going to develop my knight first and then my bishop and then go for a castle. I'd imagine that my opponent is going to get himself ready to castle. So that's a little weird. Um, I'm going to just put my bishop on d3 and get ready to castle. He's threatening to take, actually, now that I think about it. But I'm going to just drop back. Probably wasn't a good idea to come to d3. Probably was a better idea to come to... If he takes with the bishop, I will be capturing. But if he takes with the pawn, I'll just drop back, I think. <clears throat> I guess I could also go forward and threaten his rook, which that might be a good move, so. I don't know if I should make a luft. I'm gonna just castle. Yeah, I had a feeling he wanted to do this, but I'm not too worried about it. His knight seems pretty silly over there. Come in here or here a better move. Uh, 
I think here is a good move. Gives me a good a good knight potentially. I can retake with the knight. I could also do this right now as well. He's got his heart set on taking my bishop, and I think I'm going to let him probably have it. I'm debating on whether to come all the way back and have this pawn structure. I guess it's not that bad. Um, this is also... I'm going to come all the way back, and we'll just pre-move that just cuz and I'm looking at a move like this um, So it looks like my opponent wants to move here, maybe. Threatening my light squared bishop, but I can defend it with this. So we are a pawn up. My opponent's kind of weakened some light squares for himself. Looks like he might want to castle queenside. Um, so my knight is kind of in a weird spot right now. I mean, he's pretty strong in the center of the board, but he could be kicked out by a pawn. He is defending this square. Um, I think... Just to be cautious, I'm going to play this move. And then we can start pushing our pawns on the queen side. Yeah, I don't think that that was the move that he really wanted to do. So I'm going to um, build pressure. comes back um. do need to be careful but I think we can keep pushing pawns. Um, my opponent has the same idea, which is kind of cute. Um, if he pushes this pawn, I can jump my knight in. Could also just jump my knight in there. Okay, so I'm going 
gonna take the pawn. Just defended by my bishop. I could also stand to take that pawn as well, giving check to the king. And then come back and give a fork. So a move like that, and then maybe coming back, depending on what they do. So check to the king. He's gonna have to lose his queen because his king is stuck. That's awesome. And then I have that and he's gotta bring his king to the center of the board. Then we have this fork. And everything falls. Take the rook. <clears throat> and take this pawn. That's hanging. basically just want to trade take pieces down to a winning end game for us my opponent is being pretty cool he's still playing on which is pretty sweet um, do I have anything here That'll be mate. Uh, well, actually, no, because his knight defends. Fine with that. That makes my life a lot easier. Trade off the light squared bishops. And then I think we can just push pawns to infinity. Checkmate. So that was pretty nice. That was a good game. That was a good game. So let's check out the analysis. Played 79%. He played 64.2. But we had a pretty strong attacking game. So let's get into it. I played a London. Um, so... Playing c4 is a good move. The best move is just playing h4. I can't wait to learn how to play 
a a four h four and like be a good player um that's some computer stuff to me um so in this position kind of weird he fiancados both his bishops and he's also played this move um taking the pawn is by far the best move making him move his bishop again in the opening um or developing his queen a little early and then getting tempo one or the other um i would also be down to trade the knight for the bishop probably so in this position a little inaccurate me playing the knight forward um this is a blunder um and it's because i can just take this now which i didn't I didn't play this correctly, so this was a miss, yeah, I knew, um, so I can just take the pawn and have a dope knight. Um, so instead, he just develops a knight and is kind of keeping an eye on this pawn. Um, I castle, which is not the best. I left my pawn vulnerable to being captured, but I didn't know if he saw this, but I felt like I had... I mean, actually, now that I look at it, I don't have a tactic because his knight covers that square. So, yeah, he can literally just take this and I'd have to back up, which is what I was talking about when I was playing the game. <clears throat> um, this is a miss on his end. Um, that's an inaccuracy by me. Um, just going for this pawn structure would have been fine. Um... This allows my queen to get active. I didn't really want to do any of that. Um, so I moved this. He pushed a pawn, which I think was kind of wild. <clears throat> I backed all the way up, which is not the best move. Just taking the pawn. And then having just two sweet ass knights in the center. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't have done that. So, I didn't mind having my pawns like this. I think it's... It's not the best, but it's also kind of strong. Um, like, defensively, I guess. Unless he can get this file opened and then really pile down it. I don't really see anything. I also thought he was going to castle kingside. This is a blunder. Um, permits an opponent to win a pawn through a fork. Um, that's a long sequence of moves but I think even to get to here would have been just nice like he wouldn't have been able to deal with you know can't deal with he can't protect both basically um well, actually, he could do this. Which I don't know why the computer says don't do that. But, um, anyways. So, let's get back to the actual game. So, he takes, I take, he throws this forward. I, I now take the pawn and have, like, this nice knight. Um, it still wants me to play the tactic that I missed. Um. In this position, I decided, let's push some pawns. So, here we go, being kind of a nuisance to my opponent. Um, he's annoyed. He had to... The knight's playing defense, which is not bad for the knight, but it's better to have an active knight. Um, I feel like his queen, his king also would rather go to that square, but if you noticed... He, the, I mean, he did have this square, but he chose not to go there for some reason. Um he does not have any other squares though this is a free one um but yeah he couldn't really go anywhere else other than here and here so he goes back i push another pawn I'm like hey let's do this he pushes a pawn i bring the knight up because this is a free pawn he comes to defend it but after a second look i was like hey i can just take the pawn he pushes that um, that's a mistake straight up because I can take this with check and he has to lose his queen Which I'm not even gonna lie. I saw that part. I just 
I kind of just didn't think about what he had to recapture with. He gets to lose a queen in this scenario. I also knew that after the check, I had this fork. So um, he takes, I recapture with my knight, who's conveniently located. Um, the bishop couldn't take the whole time just because I'm, I've been kind of threatening him. Um, so give him that check again. King has to go out. I take the pawn with a fork. Um, my opponent plays a good move, but I just take the rook. I, I might have, I don't know. I might have defended a little differently than he did. I might have done something like this to defend the bishop. I don't know. Put pressure down the board, maybe with doubled rooks. Um, I then take this pawn with my queen. Now we're getting busy. Um, check to the king. He backs up. I give a check with the bishop. I just take because he doesn't think about this, but he's got to actually move here. So, like, he can't bring that knight out. He, I mean, it's a free knight. He can't recapture it. Um, he had to come here. But he wanted his king to be able to go that way. So with that in mind, he brought his knight out, I captured, he comes back, and in this position, I decide to trade bishops, he takes, I take, um, I push a pawn, he takes, which is definitely not the right move. Um, I don't know what the right move is, but probably just leaving this and trying to do something else with your pieces. Um, that is a move, you know, defended by the bishop, um, I don't know, kind of anything other than what he did. I then get the check with my rook, and he gives me checkmate on the next move. So, Black Lightning, thank you for the game. I appreciate it. It was fun. Um, I needed a win, too, and you were kind of high-righted compared to me. So, thank you. And, again, thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing. It's awesome. I have 400 subscribers now, so let's keep pushing, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.